If your current treatments for severe allergic asthma, chronic hives, or nasal polyps are not effective, your doctor may recommend trying omalizumab, Zolaire. Here are a few things you should know about this medication. Omalizumab, also known as Zolaire, is a medication that can help prevent and reduce asthma attacks, chronic hives, and shrink the size of nasal polyps. Nasal polyps are non-cancerous growths that can affect your nasal drainage, cause pain, and decrease your sense of smell. It belongs to a newer class of medications called biologics, which are made of cells from humans, animals, or microorganisms. Omalizumab is a monoclonal antibody, a copy of a living protein that functions like natural antibodies to support your immune system. This medicine is not for treating sudden asthma attacks, but it is used to prevent allergic reactions that can cause inflammation and lead to serious symptoms like asthma attacks. Omalizumab is only available as an injection, which is typically administered every two or four weeks, as directed by your doctor's prescription. It is approved to treat asthma in patients six years and older, nasal polyps in adults, and chronic hives in people 12 and older. When you come into contact with something you're allergic to, your body creates a substance called immunoglobulin E, or Ige. This attaches to the allergen and inflammatory cells in your body, releasing substances that cause inflammation and can lead to symptoms like asthma attacks. Omalizumab works by blocking Ige from attaching to your inflammatory cells, preventing inflammation. Here's what omalizumab can do for each condition it's approved for. Allergic asthma, it can reduce symptoms and lower the frequency of asthma attacks. Chronic hives, it can decrease the number of hives and relieve itching. Nasal polyps, it can shrink the size of the polyps, reduce congestion, and improve your sense of smell. Inform your doctor if you have a history of cancer, a current or past parasitic infection, Experienced a reaction to the ingredients in the medication, including hamster proteins used to make omalizumab, latex, foods, dyes, preservatives, or other medications. Had sudden breathing problems. Experienced a very serious allergic reaction or anaphylaxis. Also, let your doctor know if you are pregnant, trying to get pregnant, or breastfeeding. Taking any other medications, including over-the-counter medications, herbal supplements, or vitamins. When using omalizumab to treat asthma and nasal polyps, the amount you take depends on your weight and the level of Ige in your bloodstream. However, for chronic hives, the dosage does not depend on weight or Ige levels. For asthma, adults typically take 150 to 375 mg every 2 or 4 weeks, while children ages 6 to 12 take 75 to 375 mg every 2 or 4 weeks. For chronic hives, children over age 12 and adults usually take 150 to 300 mg every 4 weeks. When treating nasal polyps, the dosage may range from 75 to 600 mg every 2 or 4 weeks. Children under 6 can also take this medication, with the dosage determined by a doctor. After doing a blood test to check your Ige levels, your doctor will determine the right dosage based on your weight. You'll receive a shot in your upper arm, stomach, or thigh. If the dose is more than the amount in the pre-filled syringe, you may need more than one shot. To avoid skin problems, the shots will be given in different locations. Don't expect immediate improvement in your symptoms after taking omalizumab. It may take some time for you to feel the effects. Keep track of your symptoms so your doctor can evaluate whether omalizumab is the right treatment for you. If you notice that your symptoms are less severe or occur less frequently over time, it's a sign that the medication is working. If your doctor allows it, you may be able to give yourself the injection at home. Just take the syringe out of the refrigerator and let it warm up to room temperature for 15 to 30 minutes before using it. However, if the syringe has been left out at room temperature for more than 48 hours, do not use it. Make sure to dispose of the used syringe properly in a container marked for sharp objects. Some people may experience side effects from omalizumab, while others may not. Common side effects include fatigue, muscle or joint aches, injection site reactions such as pain, redness, or swelling, stomach pain, headache, ear pain, nosebleeds, nausea, and swelling in the nose, sinuses, or throat. More serious side effects may include shortness of breath, 
fever, rash, muscle aches, or swollen glands within a few days of injection, sores on the skin, coughing up blood, trouble swallowing, numbness, tingling, or severe pain in the hands and feet, swelling, swollen lymph nodes, and loss of appetite. Although it is rare, serious allergic reactions can occur when receiving the injection or within four days of it. Some people may not have a reaction after the first shot, but could have a serious reaction later on as treatment continues. In some cases, serious reactions have been reported more than a year after starting treatment. Doctors will monitor patients for about two hours for any reactions during the first three sessions before allowing them to take the medicine at home. In some cases, patients may need to continue getting injections in a medical setting for insurance coverage. If you have had a serious allergic reaction in the past, it's important to let your doctor know before taking omelizumab. You may be at a higher risk for a serious reaction from omelizumab if you have had anaphylaxis before. If you experience symptoms such as tightening in muscles around your lung area, hives, low blood pressure, dizziness or fainting, or swelling in your tongue or throat, call 911 immediately. Omelizumab, also known as Zolaire, can be prescribed by your doctor for conditions that it's not FDA approved to treat. This includes conditions like hay fever, food allergy, drug allergy, swelling, non-allergic asthma, eczema, chronic sinus infections, and blisters. There have not been any studies conducted to determine if omelizumab interacts with other prescription medications. However, it is important to inform your healthcare provider if you use tobacco products, alcohol, or illegal drugs. Additionally, make sure your doctor is aware of any prescription and over-the-counter medications, as well as any vitamins and supplements you are taking. In the studies used for initial approval, researchers found that Omelizumab reduced hospitalization for worsening asthma in people with allergic asthma, treating most issues without a hospital visit. People with nasal polyps who took omelizumab experienced more improvements in post-nasal drip, runny nose, and sense of smell compared to those who didn't take it. In trials on those with chronic hives, itch seriousness scores and hive counts decreased more in people on three different doses of omelizumab compared to those getting a placebo. The greatest improvements were seen in those on the highest dose. If you receive your injection at a medical facility, it's important to keep your appointments to ensure you receive your medication on time. If you happen to miss an appointment, be sure to call and reschedule as soon as possible. If you administer the medication at home and miss a dose, it's important to contact your doctor to determine when you should take the missed dose and when to take the next one.